On to coffee now. 30 years of coffee roasting experience has landed in Lincoln. Yeah, after that morning commute, you might want to drink a couple of more cups. KCRA 3's Brian Hickey waking up and smelling the beans this morning with his family-run roastery. Uh, man, you can smell it a couple miles away. You know you're getting close to this uh, roastery when you smell the beans. And check this out. This is just one row of the pallets of coffee beans here. I was going to try to pick one of these bags up and shoulder it. 150 pounds right here, and it's kind of an awkward dead weight, if you will. I don't know how, and they said they had one guy that could carry one under each arm, so uh, maybe that's for another story. But we're out here with the Rogers family out here at their ro at bringing the, uh, the coffee roasting right here to Lincoln, which you, you previously did it in San Leandro. San Leandro, yes. And uh, why make the move to Lincoln? Well, we were at the intersection of North and South Hayward Faults. They have a major event every 140 years, and it's been 140 years. <laughs> so time to get out, time huh? To get out. Well, certainly, um, and you bring how many jobs to Lincoln? Uh, 125? 125. 125. Wow. All right, well, well, tell us about your coffee. Oh, Pete, why don't you? Yeah. you you're, the, you're the buyer. Well, uh, Dad uh, started working for Dad when I was uh, 14, and I've uh, been working for him ever since. Back then it was for ice cream. Now, of course, we get uh, paid. So uh, oh. Dad sent me down to Guatemala in 1986 to look at the quality, source of quality, and uh, from there I started doing some social projects. Came back to him and said, Dad, we got to start helping people out. So... Yeah, that's really interesting because you guys, so you go out, you actually buy the coffee, you go out and negotiate the deals, so you're getting it straight from the supplier, and uh, we're looking off now at the, at the roasting facility. How many roasters do you have down there? We have four set up now, and we have two more to move up. Okay, and uh, well, you know, what's the output of this place when it comes to coffee? Uh, we could probably do about uh, 55 million pounds. <laughs> that's a lot of coffee, and that's a lot of beans. Um, and back over here, take a look at this. Uh, he was talking about the social projects. Um, Pete, if you will, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do in the growing regions where you guys get your coffee from. Well, you can see some before and after pictures. You see uh, before here and, and after and housing, and uh, we look in you know, kitchens here. And you'll see a school down here. This is a school before and school after. So we work in the cycle of poverty. We work with you know, food, clothing, shelter, medical, dental. And we just help the workers and help the people out in the communities. And, John, this was something that you started. And, and why, why spend the money and the time and the effort to do that when really you're in the business of making coffee? Well, two reasons. We, we've always felt that we need to have a better product. It has to be different than everybody else's. So Pete started going down there and, and buying coffee directly, which means we get the better coffee. And then when you help the farmer, uh, we, the better farmers want to sell to us. And so we've been paying more since uh, 1986, I guess. And, and we started doing the social programs at, at, at about that same time. Uh, if the workers are better, uh, they're better housing, better living quality, better medical, so forth, um, they're going to work on that farm. And, uh, and it keeps us in the mainstream of the quality end of the coffee business. All right, last question. Where can we buy your coffee? You can buy it at Costco, and you can buy it at a lot of stores, uh, uh, it's the organic coffee company is in a whole bunch of stores. I don't really know any one. But yeah, I know our, our producer is a fan of the uh, San Francisco Bay brand right there. So, uh, Justin, you were right. They do make that coffee. So there you have it. We're out here with the Rogers family in the, uh, man, it is coffee heaven out here. It smells so good. We're working on that smell vision. That will be next after HD. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Brian.